Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a rhombic hexacontahedron. Uh, the first thing you need is the uh, core, which I did a separate tutorial for this, so you can go watch that and see how I made it. Now if you've seen that though, you'll notice that this one looks a little bit different. That's because I added the uh, pentagon rings at the end in a different polarity than how I did it in the video. And you can see that when you add it this way, you get little triangles across the uh, surface of it. Whereas the other way, you don't see those. So that's the way you want it to be, though. And for now, we can set it aside so I can show you these other things. You're going to need 30 of these angular pieces here. And the way you make those is you start out with two stacked rings of 22 magnets, squish them together down into a long flat piece, and you find the halfway point on the, I guess what I call the underside of it. It's the side that ends in, uh, that ends in points. And you split that and bend it until it does that. Then, you take a chain of magnets and you add four across the top. Just like that. And that's how you make these pieces. And like I said before, you need 30 of them. Now you're also gonna need 20 of these triangular points which are similar to the ones that I used for the great stellated dodecahedron. The size is a little bit different though, so I'll show you how I do these real quick. These are, by the way, rings of 12 magnets. You cut them into stacks of two, flatten them out into long straight pieces, Stick them together like so. Bend them around till they do that. Don't let them do that. Um, take out these three magnets in the back. Slide this over like that and then bend the legs down until the three magnets split away on top. Then you can use a chain to take away those three magnets. And make a hexagon. Add it here. And make a tiny little triangle and also add it on top of the hexagon until you have that. Now you'll notice the three legs are uneven. You have one where the point kind of ends sideways and you have two where the points end pointing vertically. A short one and a long one. You see the long one and the short one. And you want them all to look like that one where the point's pointing sideways. So from this one you're gonna add two magnets and this one you're going to take two magnets off. So this one, you can just take a chain here and add a magnet, add a magnet. This one you can take a magnet off, take another one off. So now it's symmetrical. Oh, bumped it. And now you have 20 of those. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is to take your core here and take this, which is a tube of five magnets around and 36 rings long, and you're going to cut it up into sections that are three tall, and you're going to add them onto the pentagonal corners of the core, just like that. And you do that on all 12 corners.
And so you have that. And now what you're going to want to do is add uh, these pieces on. And so first you want to just start out with five of them and add them all around the sides of one of these. I'll show you what I mean here with the first one. You're going to want to take this and it's going to add a one end is going to attach here and the other one's going to attach here. Just like this. Just like that. And then you're going to want to add four more until they one of these is completely covered. Just like that. Then once you have five you can set it down on those five and add the rest of them. Okay, and so once those are all on, you're going to want to start adding these. Um, before you can add them on though, for each one, what you're going to want to do is take a chain of magnets, and on each leg, you want to add just one, so that the leg will look like that. Now the reason you don't add that on earlier is because this is kind of unstable, and if the piece happens to get stuck to something while you're waiting, it'll just get all screwed up. So I don't like to put those last three magnets on until just beforehand. And so you go ahead and attach it across these three points, just like this. Just like that. And you might want to slide that over just a little bit to make sure it's sitting on all the points but just like that and go ahead and add four more Okay, now before you add the rest of them on, there are two things you want to do. The first is that since this is going to ultimately be the bottom of the shape, you want to add a support here to keep it from collapsing because these are not the strongest things in the world, so it's good to have something coming out of here to support it. And so what I use is just a ring of five magnets around, eight rings long and just pop that down right in the middle there and I think that that should be right what I, this is a mirror if you put it here you can check the height of everything on a flat surface and yes that's the right length I had to check because this is only the second time I've built this. Um, so now what you want to do is go ahead and flip the whole thing over. Just like that. And now you can add the rest of these on.
And there you go. It's a rhombic hexacontahedron. Um, I'm not sure how clear I was earlier about the thing with the mirror. That wasn't to see anything. That was just to make sure that this strut here was long enough so that it would stand correctly on a flat surface. And I could test that with the mirror without actually putting any weight on it in case it was wrong. And there you go. Rhombic hexacontahedron. And I guess, what the hell, I'll smash it.